go. I, 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 I should time these things with the stream deck, how to get the response. Anyway, so hey everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today. And along with... The fears of my mighty first mate on a gear at your service. And Nobody welcome where the came from. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back to Dunzara the Hidden Portal. Where uh, you probably noticed that I've got the... Uh, well, the, an elderly version of Racket, Racket Ralph has been never shaved uh, be flying behind me. Uh, uh, yeah. Now you uh, ruined the way. And like I said, I I did some grinding in this game and I managed to capture a Grease Lock, which is the final of the Ice Bear Evolution line. And it's pretty good in its stat. I only got it up to level 20. But yeah, 4, 4, 2, 4... I also got a Glazes, who is almost as strong, except for a, a bit lesser in hit points. But because of that small difference, I went with uh, Grease Lock. Yeah, though, the question is, there might be something else he's better at. Like, she might have more abilities to choose from. Perhaps. Uh, actually, it's not abilities. It might be that they grow faster in spell, uh, in their spell level. <clears throat> Yes, I also got uh, Flagwin, aka Drakir, up to level 30. And I haven't really been training Giga Rex at all. I only had limited time in the last few days to grind a bit. Mostly I did that on the mountaintops, just moving back and forth between some trees from which Grease and uh, Fees spawned. Um, yeah, si and, well, since Fire and Ice are both strong against in nature, I also tried to do a bit of grinding in the forest, but that didn't prove too fruitful because there were a hell of a lot of low level ones around. Sh show me which is the Grease Lock. This one. Double how e. is it spelled? Yeah, G you keep adding an R. Yeah, it says Grease Lock. G E R E E Z L O C. Uh, we have an accent moment where you, you not on, are you not hearing yourself accident in adding an R? Grease lock. Uh, I'm not hearing it at second R. I'm only hearing the one at the start. Uh, uh, I hear you saying grease with an R. It's in G R. It's right freaking oh, no, here. there. All right. <laughs> it's not geese lock. <laughs> I thought you would have to tell me with this how you spell what wait. He keeps saying with a grease lock like there's a order, but then suddenly you you see you say G E G E E of what wait. But this clear an order. Uh, Alright, so hmm? it was miscommunication then. Yeah. Still a stupid name. I, I get the feeling that when we when I rip the models from this game, I should probably use the ones in London, because they seem to be rather, they, they seem to be pretty much, yeah, they seem to be bigger than when they're flying behind you. But yeah, for now, let's move uh, over to, well, let's head back to Dunham or Dunham, Dunmore, <laughs> Dunham. What? Where the hell? Where the hell did they get done that from? A uh, comedian. Jeff yeah, yeah, Dunham? That's a, yeah, this is ventriloquist Jeff Dunham. <laughs> okay. He's awesome. Yeah. As far as I know, at least. I have heard that there is some controversy surrounding him, but uh, from what I have seen, uh, yeah, he can be a bit of a jackass in his uh, routines, but he's a funny jackass, at least. Yeah, then also... I think you know the, uh, the wool. How twitteries and uh, all that. Yeah, people can get very... Well, he... So, a lot of... Good part of his routine is offensive. And also, I found this little you know, sparkle bunch over here. Whilst there was looking around. Okay. Uh, I think some where he actually points out the hypocrisy. Like... <laughs> I agree with the wool. We should be the, the equality all that. I agree that that fully. But then we have people that claims to be anti-racist, but still basically say, say every white middle-aged man is guilty of crimes for being 
you're screaming Middle East and white and man. Like, um... Excuse me? That's racist. Uh, they're, 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 yeah, yeah, some exactly. people have to, Some have people have the stupid belief that you, know, you can't be racist against Caucasian people. But the term... The very fact, the very definition of racism, is to judge people based on things they have no control over. Yeah, and also, it is also color. Also, yeah, how, but the important was is that statement is not only sex; it's racist, but also sexist, uh, and a bit ageist as well. Age, it, I don't know. Okay. Ageist, I believe this yeah, is the way against, you say it. Yeah, but it's against age. Though there is another, I think there's another term against people with syndromes and disability. It's some similar to that yoke. Oh wait, that's ableist I'm thinking about. Yeah. I have it. I have it. Some rare ableist. Though most ableists are usually kids, but when they grow up, they understand. All right, I should not bully them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but, we're going to have to fight our way back towards the Shadow Realm. Uh, but, but, uh, I like Yaskada, uh, he, he, he cannot be too crude humor, but he has been good on putting out hypocrisy. You're pointing out, I believe you meant. <laughs> yeah, putting it out. Because putting out hypocrisy means being a hypocrite. Uh, oh. oh, yeah, yeah, I meant pointing out. Uh, I think I did not realize I misspoke there. Oops. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Rieslock might not be able. To, uh, we'll still be facing up against very strong fairies in the Shadow Realm, but I hope with Rieslock at least we should be able to deal with uh, water fairies a lot better, since we didn't have any fairy types that were effective against those before. And with all of his health, he should be a pretty good meat shield against them as well. Um, depends. How much is that? Of that is muscles, and how much of it is fluff? <laughs> well, with the way he's holding his arms, he he'd have you believe it's muscle. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me think. Yeah, we'll be facing mostly dark and chaos fairies. We've seen energy fairies. Actually, do we have anything that is effective? Uh, there's the charts. Okay. Uh, energy, energy. Yep, ice is strong against energy. So that's another uh, weakness covered. I think the only thing we don't re have a counter to at the moment is stone and light. And, well, if we really need a, a counter against stone, we can get, bring Mancray along. <laughs> Just lock that he was out on the selection screen. But yeah, let's save. And here we go. It's <laughs> it sounds like someone's trying to be a uh, do a bit of a villain voice after downing a full balloon of helium. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Tinazard, Kurnox, Agiri, Syro, and Fazriel. Okay, we should be able to cover... We should have coverage for all of these types. We have Oceana for this one. Uh, also for this one. We have Flygon. Or, no, not Flygon. God, that's a Pokemon. <laughs> um, we have Bonaria for this one. And we ha have... Uh, Drakir's avatar for this one as well. Uh, wait, what? Okay, quick shift because fire does is very ice does not deal well with fire. Okay, now I'm confused. You say Drakir's avatar while looking at someone's butt. <laughs> Explain yourself. Uh, okay. Ah, there's no me. To... Yep. Oh, this stupid spell. Now, after we get the rune for this place, I think it might be a good idea to go spell hunting at the magic merchants. Because we are we are pretty limited in some types. It's like uh, ice, we only have two offensive spells with that. 
And the other one that we have with it isn't that good because it has only five charges. Just, with, just because we spoke with Jeff Dunham, the, the offensive spend just came off a bit wrong in my head. Okay. Oop, there we go. Thinazard is pretty useful, but combat-wise... Yo, switch. Combat-wise, they are probably more a holdover until you get a full... Uh, oh. Or a, I'm not really sure what to call it, a true fire fairy, or... Hmm. Either way, speaking of fire fairy... Back to the little dragon. Oop. Oop, now it's quick swap, I... Okay, I forgot... Or, I forgot or didn't know that dark is good against fire. Nope, oh, damn, that was a blatant miss. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought fire would be good against Stark. Apparently not. Okay. I hope we so... don't really need to use any of the magic cards to progress uh, until we get the rune of this place. Because otherwise we're going to have to tread and go all the way back. Would not be surprised. But this game is really smoothly made, all that. There has been some things I wonder why. Like, sure, you have a fairy. You have evolved it to max level, but you don't keep its old information? Yeah, that is a, a bit of an oddity. I'm guessing it works. Oh. I'm guessing it works by checking for. I think I think it might be checking your inventory for an ID code or something, and if it finds it to be lacking, ooh, what the? It's uh, yeah, doesn't have it in the Pokédex, so to see, or the Fairy Dex. <laughs> so basically, a flawed Pokédex. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that game breaking, but it is kind of weird. Yep. Oh, final shot on this. And on the final spell that Aquana has, or Oceana has. That is love? Yep. I expected it to be deeper. Okay, good amount of experience for everyone, since those were pretty highly evolved uh, fairies. Which, of course, plays a part in uh, how much experience they give. And nothing for Gigarex, because they're just tagging along. What was he saying? Uh, you can't defeat us all. If someone's calling, forgive me.
Okay, something's off in the stream deck because it wouldn't undo the BRB uh, screen. Uh, let me do a quick little check of that. It, it should be a toggle. So configure, BRB. Uh, oh, this is stupid of me. I set it as a one way. I, sh I should have just pressed the stream, uh, uh, the stream scene key again. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, that... That will have caused the game to soft crash and take me back to the launcher. But if I place, if I press start there, it'll first go a bit wonky because the the resolution. And there we go, straight back here. All right. Uh, do we need to I redo did the save. fight? I I did save, so we don't have to redo the fight. Okay, that clever, clever. Yeah. Okay, with that little jackass out of the... <laughs> One jackass out of the way, and here comes the next. Yep, I... Yeah, the demonic seagulls. I think they offered my food here. <laughs> Rugwurst in tortilla bread with some good uh, cheese, ketchup, and garlic sauce. Okay. Yes, I basically have a bread blanket rapid sausage. <laughs> But hey, it works. Uh, yeah, I have similar, or I have had similar. Uh, with, uh, with work during some of the breaks uh, that I have, I just put in one of those microwave sausages in the, well, microwave, and put that in a... Uh, I don't know what the, the English word for it would be, but in in Dutch it's called a pistolet. It's, it's basically a miniature uh, baguette. And yeah, just add some sauce to that, and it, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good meal or small meal to keep you tied over uh, for work. A, a tiny baguette. Yeah. I think we most call, just call mean baguettes. Okay. At least I think so. At least in Sweden. I but think I, I googled it once. About. Yeah. It, 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 if they are what you figure you talk about, they are very good, especially the garlic bread ones. Um, I'm actually thinking of the ones that are smaller than that, half length of those. But there's those also in the stores here with uh, garlic egg in them, or yeah, for in the oven. Those those can be okay. Amy did a teleport again. Those can be really tasty if they're done well, but they can oh, also yeah. go moldy pretty quickly for some reason. Uh, yeah, but most of them are supposed to be kept frozen until you want to cook them in the oven. True. Oh, I hear a pixie over there. Okay. I'm guessing that sparkle field would reveal a platform here, but we're mostly here for story, not for pixie hunting. Let's see. Psyro, Plumar. Jump David rock. Kennedy that might be again. a bit trouble. The Gary and the freeze lock. Okay, everything except for this one should be easy enough. Yeah. Now you are normal. We have no need for that because that would just deal normal damage to us as well. And they are pretty high level, so that would be a pretty decent amount of damage. I saw that switch. Burn. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, no, you don't. Uh, he did swap out, but at least I got him a kick after. Um, I yeah, we, we're streaming a hell of a lot earlier than usual today, but with the uh, yeah, with the work schedule that and that I have, that is going to have to be every now and then done every now and again. He swapped out without me noticing. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll, from every now and then, we'll have to do very early streams like this. Or very early compared to our usual stuff. For us, it's, uh, half past four. Yep. It's, I very much doubt right. that Gigawax is going to be useful here. Don't you mean basically it's half five? Yeah, it's f four thirty. About now. 
Actually, oh, I think oh, right. The... You, you use the PM, uh, the AM thingy. Yeah. Yeah, we, we sweet go military. <laughs> yeah, the clock that I have has the same... Well, oh, he swapped out. Okay. We're there. Yeah, even though we have advan type advances, they're still being really annoying. With swapping around and just the amount of damage they deal because of the high levels. So I have to say, it's quite a jump to go from level 30 enemies to level 50 enemies. Oh, wrong. Actually, no, I could have done that. Ow. I could have kept Grease Lock on the field for that, and I should have healed up. I should have refilled Oceana's mana. Where the hell are you? You just go for 30 50. Yeah, that is gonna leap. But, nope. I would not be surprised if that had to shrink the game. Like, it might have been planned to be longer, but uh, due to time. Yeah, there was an expansion planned, but that never got released. Why, I don't really re uh, know. Might not have been doing well enough. Uh, maybe. At the very least, we got one of the music tracks from that. It should be on uh, King Einstein's website, if that is still up, actually, these days. And this jump rock might be an issue for us. Actually... Oh, he's tanky. Let's swap over to the... No, not swap over to Oceana. Swap over to the poison spell. Ooh. That should help a lot. Nope. Yeah, we swapped out as well. Hmm. Yeah, the, the constant swapping is rather annoying with how it drags out these fights, but they're already pretty long just with the amount with the level gap that we're facing. One more two more shots should take out the grease lock. And that'll limit his oh there we go. That's going to limit how much he can do to us. Now we're... There you are. There's another hit and you'll be gone. Yep. Got another stronger hit than that. Okay. Actually, might as well fight Fungus with Fungus and poison this thing. It, it's using that 80% slowed spell charge. Okay, that's bad. Uh, actually, no. Uh, what? Okay, what was going on there? You are still effective against uh, nat nat nature. Uh, oh, come on. Actually, we have a spare spell. Uh, sigh, I... Yeah. Wait, did we... I can't tell there if he got killed or just teleported. Okay, he was killed there. Uh, okay, it looks like after all we're going to lose this fight all the same anyways now. So that's a real freaking annoyance. Uh, did we just critical hit ourselves there? Okay, let's just end this. We can't win this at the moment. We... Hmm... It's, that for Geary is... Re is, it's really annoying with its slowdown spell. Oh, no. At least it'll put us back here. And we did save earlier. Okay. Gives us a moment to do this. And they're all good. <laughs> Greaselock already has a high levels in his spell, but we don't have stronger spells than level 2 and level 1 with this. So that's pretty useless. Actually, we could... Do we have another level 1 ice spell to fill in that gap? Yeah, we do, but it's equipped on glazes or some or fees, so that's not going to work. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, we, we can't... To unequip a spell, we need to have the fairy present with it. Hmm. 
So there's a reason to have duplicates then. Yep. Uh, let's see, cold water is already equipped. Yeah, yeah just just look at <laughs> just look at the, all the spell levels that we have access to here. Me fiery and mighty. Yeah, we do still need to get some spells, uh, some level three spells to fill actually fill that in though. And for that, um, I don't. I think it was. Did we lock? Did we uh, get find which spell merchant actually sells fire spells last time? I know we had. We must have run into them at some point because we have fire arrows. Uh, were they not in the dwarven town? Probably there was at the very least the fi the metal one. Yeah, I think it was metal hellfire. Now this the smith was the smith was giving metal spells, and I think there was a yeah there was a, a magic merchant there. We might have to vi give them a visit as well then. Uh, for now, yeah, let's keep that uh, this sharp eye on this one because we wait. Oh. Yeah. Bonaria's spell level went down under her second set, so she can't equip uh, the poison one. What? Yeah, the, again, the game has potential, but there seems to have been mm. some questionable design choices. It also seems that the, the... wait, oh there it is, Falling Tree, that's the one. Okay, so either we use razor blades and slight quake, or hmm. I, I say we actually let's swap to falling tree for this one. Falling tree. Yeah. Really? So that way she can poison the enemies that we're fighting against. <clears throat> right. Hit Which... up, hit up. Take. Let, let's take a moment here. The spell is named Falling Tree. Yep. And for some reason it poisons. Uh, wait, what? And I just find it hilarious just that if you have a fairy, they just treat trees over people. <laughs> and yeah, so I interrupt you. What, what do I need to say? Uh, either nothing or I've already forgotten again. <laughs> Yeah, I, I interrupted you. I know I did that. <laughs> okay. You were to say something save. about the spells? Now, at, at the very least, it doesn't make sense for the spell levels to go down after an evolution. And let's. Oh, come on. Two of them. Yeah. Three of them. Three of the fucking motherfuckers. Uh, okay, this was to be paid for. Again, people. Himion likes mushrooms. He likes to eat them. Uh, speaking of, uh, that's uh, Kambocha or Kambacha or however you're supposed to Kombucha. pronounce it. Kombucha. Okay. It, uh, the first one that I I, I managed to find uh, that in the in the stores nearby, but uh, the the first one that I tried, though that had a man mango taste added to it, I didn't find all that interesting. The second one is still in the fridge. Hopefully that's good and for There we go. This is, this is the thing. We only recently learned what kombucha is for it's one of those food that you heard a lot about in older cartoons and so and such from the nineties and all that. And apparently it's fermented mushroom tea. Wait, right, it was fermented Some... mushroom. I missed or at that least that's some. Uh, that's part. <laughs> at least that's I think what Wikipedia said on it. I I missed that. I saw I saw mushroom tea. All right. I make mushroom tea, but fermented mushroom tea. Um. Uh, it might. It might. There might be an alcoholic version of it and a non-alcoholic version. Still, still poison that one. I I think. Yeah, I think we're going to have to resort to uh, yeah, just wading out these guys. They stay poisoned even if they swap out and still get little shits. Uh, don't they also have limited mana? Yeah. 
which would mean that eventually they should kill themselves off. Or at, at, at the very least, I know it's wild fairies have that. Yeah, so hopefully... This shit. Can we trick them to hit a wall repeatedly? Uh, no, they have, as you can see, they are very good aim. We can... There are some times that they will miss. But beyond that... Uh... We'll either have to tank it, or just hope they waste their shots. For now, though, uh, Granddaddy in gold is going to get away. Okay. But Bonaria needs to get off one good shot because she's going to die in one. Oh. Come on. There we go. Critical hit. That should hopefully still count for getting it poisoned. Even though it's using the freaking oak skin or thorn armor. Yeah, thorn armor is the one that gives full immunity for a few hits. Here is status effect. There you go. Yep. There. Hmm. There, there is that the, there is that defensive spell as well that gives immunity to status changes. So let's just hope that these jackasses don't have that. And damage does not count as a status change. Yay. And that's a self hurt. Where is the. Okay, I don't think its health is going down on its own, or at least not visibly. Hmm. Ugh. We have a second spell, luckily, on... And now we are poisoned, come on! Yeah, I might have to grind a hell of a lot more... If this is going to keep... If we're going to keep uh, getting bad uh, matchups like this. Like, seriously, three of the motherfucking shrooms. Maybe we should turn them into kombucha? Where is it? Actually, turn them into tree app. Turning magic mushrooms into kombucha probably is a very bad idea. Yeah. Uh, what the? Yeah, that's this noise that Gigarax makes. Oh, what's Gigarax? What the heck did you do to the opponent? Okay. Uh, mm. I really don't want to have to go back to London and walk all the way back again. But if we, if we have to rematch this, yeah, we're going to have to rematch this again. But if, if on this next rematch they have another stone one, they're going to, um, we're going to swap out. And hello there, Murmurcio's manga. Uh, it, <laughs> I hope I read that out well. Uh, thank you for the follow. I uh, hope you'll enjoy the show. <laughs> thank you for the follow. <coughs> uh, <coughs> even as we uh, fail and flail around. Okay, Wait, what is have... that? Yep, yeah, it's something native to this Shadow Realm. And of course, we get interrupted here again. Hmm. Let's... Let's give Benoia some experience with this. Maybe if she'll level up, she'll regain her second spell level on the second set. I don't want to capture this. No, I don't. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I, I... I think most of us will kill that on sight. Uh, yeah, she needs quite a lot of experience to continue on. Hmm. Okay. What does it have lined up this time? I see an Ice Fairy. Which is good for us, since we have... Uh, what, what was it original's name again? A uh, flag win, flag win. <laughs> I don't get why I got fly gone earlier. Yeah, been one of that as well. But again, the text is too small for me to read. Which brings me again to, I, I'm going to think, I'm going to look again at uh, making the screen bigger, but I'll have to small, make the chat uh, window smaller for that. Okay, let's see. Still a drum rock, but we have a much better lineup this time. 
So fire, water, nature, everything else, nature. All right. What? Uh, oh, our controls got reversed. The last time we saw that was in Beyond Good and Evil. It, no, not yeah. freeze lock. It, it actually doesn't happen too often, maybe mostly beca oh, because people find it really freaking annoying. For good reason. Yep. Swapped out after we teleported. Okay. No, you don't. Okay, that took it out. So that's one it's to go for to... well, one down for the cope. <laughs> yeah, I had to say a little bit analysis. Yeah. It's hard to know sometimes if you took it out or not. Like, do you kill it or did it switch? Uh, let's poison this one. So I feel like this game may have need a bit more time for extra polish. Yep, you can see if he took it out if you uh, look up at the portraits. But oh yeah, that there I can see it. Uh, let's swap out because this thing is pre hitting pretty hard. We don't know, need Oceana for this. Fi oh, another self hit. <laughs> Oceana is not needed anymore for combats, or at least not for tanking shots. Another. F These size fairies are really freaking annoying. And they're going to end up killing Bonaria because of a bullshit. Okay, uh, do I have anyone else who is good against Psy? I don't actually think so. So now we might have get gotten fucked over by the Psy fairies. Where are you, you little... Uh, at least that uh, hit landed because we see the gold flying around. Uh, the fuck was it firing at there? Uh, yeah, now it's going to be the f now it's going to be the freaking side fairies that are going to kill us because we don't deal enough damage. Oh, hello, never mind. I think a flag on uh, flag is already down. Uh, are you effective? No, you're not at all. Uh, it is. It this is getting really annoying with how a lot of it is just freaking good luck with how, what we're going to face, isn't it? <sighs> yeah. Uh, it's something that we may, may need more levels and better spells. Yeah. Uh, on that note, yeah, we're going to have to we're going to travel back. We're going to bed Mancrake to deal with any jump rocks because they are just too much of a wall for us to deal with. And we're getting spells from Monagam and uh, <clears throat> the Catacombs. That's where the ice spells should be, I believe. We won't be able to use any. We won't be able to use any of the fairy cards. But I think at this rate, we don't really care too much about exploring unless it's critical for getting to the <clears throat> getting to the rune point. I'm not be surprised if it is. I will not be surprised by it. And at the very least, we'll be able to take out the Shadow Elves before us. And I believe it was the shop downstairs. <laughs> no, this is someone's home. Oh, this is... Uh, that's Lasse's wife, if I recall correctly. Actually, we might want to go back to the White Cathedral and free him. <laughs> In your last set. Yeah. Did we make... Oh. Quinlan. Thanks to you, I can return you know, to the leadership of Monogam. Though politics were never really one of my strong points. Continue on your journey, Amy. The Iron Key will allow you to visit new places in Sunzara. that have been closed for you so far. You must use it. If ever you come across Rafi again, send him my regards. Okay, we can do that as well. Uh, by the way, 
I think I forgot to say this last time, but I think I know why the White Druid choose these to be the... Accuse them to be the villains. Because they're already rather isolated. Yeah. No, they're not isolated, but they're most similar to humans in some ways. Mm, true. The elves are pretty close as well, but they, they have pointy ears and such. Oh, I went more towards uh, sort of okay. culture, like industry, machines. Okay. In that way, and that is the store over there. We've, <laughs> we've visited everywhere except for the bloody store. Well... Yeah, there, there, Helian, there, there. I'll pat you if I could reach you. Okay, here we go. Let's make us some fire spells. We don't have, we don't have a use for any of these, but I'll take them all the same, just so we have backups and need be. Come on. I know you have fire spells in there. And there's one. It's not the most useful. Okay. Great telekinesis. It's a teleport one. C come on, give me any. I'm just going to stop accepting this, uh, the ones that we don't have use for. We have plenty of gold for this. Someone is really freaking biased towards fi uh, <laughs> towards the size spells. Come on, give me something other than fire air arrow. Does, does he just not have any other fire spells at all? I know we've seen all those fire spells, but we got them from them. Now we, we I mean, only have well, there. Hmm. just more fire arrows. There are also two fire spells. Yeah, just another fire arrow. Oh, again. The text in this game is small. Like, we've been playing other games with this screen size without problem for me to read. This one is the one of you who was I cannot read. Okay, I get the feeling it just does not have any other fire spells. Come the hell on. And of course, there, there aren't many guides on this game, so I can't actually look up what other place might have the stupid, might have fire spells as well. And yet we got the fire sp uh, all the fire spells from somewhere. You no, know, we don't. We don't have many fire spells at all. Because we have fire arrow, we have magic breath, and then we have yeah, just. Flames that every fire fairy comes with, and fire arrow, and one ball of fire. Oh. Hmm. Okay, let's just dive into the catacombs. This is where the ice spell merchants should be. Wait, uh, we ran into is called ball of fire. Yep. Beauty That's music. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if we recall correctly... Hopefully some people get the reference. <laughs> there you are. Okay, Chaos, Ice Arrow, that's not what we want. Oh, that was a new one in there. Chaos Arrow and Frost Ray. Let's have a look at you. 15, 2, 2, and slows movement. Okay, that can be helpful against some of the more dodgy little shits. Severity. Uh, oh, okay. It also says that you, if you have a spell already, and how many you have. That's always nice. Prevent status changes. That's good. Frost rays and shadow. Uh, <clears throat> ice arrows. Chaos arrow. Hmm. Even more frost rays. Okay, it's becoming... Oh, there we go. Magic River. Then you are... Jump Recharge. Either some of these spells just have really low chances of being available, or... They're, the list of spells that they have is just really limited. Which is very annoying. Yeah, but the then case. the question is, how do you find the other spells? 
probably some other merchant that should have them. Problem is, where the hell are they? It's not They're like kind of we annoying. have markers. The only way for you to get new spells is by gambling. Like, it, it, it feels like it was necessary, doesn't it? Yeah, it is annoying to say the least. Kind of like a forceful padding, like they want you to gamble it just to extend the game's length. Is it kind of a bad way for it? it means you could be having such bad luck that you have to grind for more and more money just to get the other spells. Because um, it is from random chance. Money isn't going to be an issue with just how much you get all the time, unless you're spending like. Unless you're you know, buying crystal spheres at 600 each, uh, I don't think you should be having an issue. Yeah, but do you know there is someone who has the, that kind of bad luck? I was kind of hoping that this one might be able to have more, like some sort of general uh, depository or something for a spell test, but no, this one only does the standard three. Still... Gives him more access to more spells than all the other ones. Uh, it's going to take... I saw one new spell that I don't think we picked up with this yet. So let's try and grab one of those. Mm. Or not. We don't have enough pixies to get another reward. After the last one, I'm not really sure if it's worth it to get any more. Like 50 coins when we have 3,000. Unless the next reward uh, crossroad thingy... Uh, Mindstone? Reward Mindstone or something? I don't know the term here, if we've got it. Might be much higher. Like Sometimes the first reward Mindstone is usually small. Mm, well, it, it was the third uh, reward, so I'm not too sure about that. Oh. Now, let's equip our fairies with the spells that we do have. Okay, let's see. Small spirits, one, two, five, two, two, two. Okay, yeah, Very the strange. only thing that I'd be concerned about pixies is if they are related to some special ending. I don't. Uh, there's only one ending in this game. This was the. <laughs> this was before that time. All oh, right, but there were other games with more than one ending before this game, but rare. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Sorrow shared. It costs fifty percent damage reduction on thirty <laughs> for thirty times. Okay, yeah, we're we're putting that on Oceana. It says Call of the Water and Hail of Knives. Bonaria has Fallen Tree for Poisoning, Critical Hit Up, then Slight Quake and Critical Hit Up. We could have equipped her with Thorn Armor, but it would only deal with 5 hits, so pretty useless. Oak Skin, also pretty useless with that hearts. Bird Skin might be actually more useful than all of those. Because it's just a lot more uses with 40. Oh dear. What hmm. the? Hmm? I just looked to my aside my TV. And yeah, I have a YouTube on my TV there through my PlayStation. And I see YouTube recommended me two videos with special thumbnails. First one a plastic box that says uh, dogs only. No seagulls. And I think yes. you know what the animals is snooping into the uh, box. Seagull, of course. Uh -huh. Yep. And then the second yeah. one is for a all slash faith form thing. Uh, a very tall building. Someone living on the top floor has decided to put a trampoline. Uh, yeah, like that isn't going to get you killed or anything. Yeah, like. like the top floor has a very high wall around them, which is unusual, but should be safe, but... Yeah, they're not high enough for the trampoline. For some reason my nose is itching like all hell now. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's go here again and let's hope that the third time traveling to this damn place is going to be the, the charm. Oh, great. It's another, another face bomb. Girl gets attacked by octopus for trying to eat it alive. <laughs> what do you... I think I've actually seen uh, that clip or, some, or partially seen it. At the very least, a thumbnail. But just what the hell are you, would you expect? Yeah, really. And this from a YouTuber called MK, which I sometimes watch. It's kind of funny, uh, funny people there. And they, uh, yeah, the pictures and all that can be very hilarious, but also sometimes outright painful. Okay. I really hope we're able to just fight our way to uh, finding the rune, so this travel time is going to be removed. But it is just going, really going to be luck with what kind of fairies that little bastard spawns with. Yeah, At the very least, we're now got full coverage of what they might bring out. I, I kind of find that weird. Like, you never know, like, each time you fight them, it's never be the same. Hmm. And that's kind of... Like, sure, it keeps things spicy a lot, but... At the same time, it means you can never prepare properly for the fight. True. Yeah. This is a, I should look up if there's a, any speedruns of this game. They probably hate that. Yeah, for... You never know. Like, it was, it, isn't that what it's so? For some people might find it exciting. But after the word, it's just be plain annoying. I'm going to... I'm going to Google that on my phone as we're walking go <laughs> back here. Sanzara speedrun. This auto failing. Hmm. Okay, the world record is at one hour and ten minutes. Any percent. So that is with glitches though. Hmm. Of course. Okay, what is I, he? I, I, I'd be more impressed if a speedrunner finished a game without abusing glitches. <laughs> oh, okay, this is a hell of a lot more favorable. Didn't you say that last time? Yeah, but this time we're not facing a damn jump rock and side fairies that are really freaking annoying. Still got him. Won't psychic Pokemon always a pain in Pokemon games as well? True, especially in the first yep, regeneration, because the special stat was both for defense and offense, and I saw that. So that meant that just having yeah, that uh, yeah, characters with special uh, psychic with special stats or high special stats would be really hard hitting and tanks at the same time. Yeah, and the weakness I had was against ghosts almost at that time. Even ghosts were annoying. Yep. There we go, that's two down. Yeah, this is so much easier when we're facing these more what would be the words? Uh, household <laughs> fairy types. I've still got a hit there. And I saw that swap. So over to Oceana. Uh, on, on the one hand, I do find it interesting all the ways that you can break a game. But there's also a part of me that's fine. Uh, that, that if you spend so much time completely dissecting a game, that's. Yeah, the for me personally, the interest would fade away or in it. Yes, it, yeah. would, it wouldn't hold any mysteries anymore. There, w there wouldn't be any surprises. Yeah, like yeah, I can I agree. Like there, there's there's like trying to learn and be good at it, and then there's the extreme uh, versions. You're breaking it over your like, knee. It, yeah, we just go 
extreme version of meta gameplay. Like the, you only do the ultimate of the ultimate of the ultimate method. To guarantee victory 100% time flawlessly. And this goes, okay. Like some games I don't mind crushing my enemies and all that, but. But are your own doing some not through some meta. Yeah. It just completely sucks away all the fun. Not, that, yeah, I, I, all of this is not to mean meant meant to bash speedrunners or anything. Just do what you like, but yeah, it's it's not a scene for me. Same, or uh, at least not any any percent types. There we go, yeah, finally like, freaking victory. Yeah, if I want to crush an enemy, I, the thing more fun is if it's due tr due through I actually trained well. Yeah, through skill and such, not through. Yeah. Uh, breaking the, the stuff <laughs> yeah or like in case i told you about the digimon side this loaf and i fought a boss with and just one shot them that, that one was more funny for i did not expect that and of course in combination with that how he was bragging furiously bragging i was i lost him in a pocket with a kiss in that situation, it's a bit more funny for... I did not expect... A bit of a who thought, yeah, I know he's not that hard, but I did not expect to actually just one-shot him the second time I played through it. Really just a... Okay, someone has a grudge to come at us at this distance. Only. Uh, wrong uh, yeah, fairy. Uh, what did you say? Uh, now I've forgotten again. Just slap that one in one shot. Uh, what was I to say? I've forgotten now. Uh, oh yeah, now that that bag just held three freaking coins, and this one, okay, a small healing potion. Which each of these coins that we pick up has more of a value than five or three. Yeah, that one was oh. that one was eight coins. So why the hell would you need to put them in a bag in the first place? Oh, hello. Safe. You have a chaos fairy following you. A creature from the human world. How did you manage to enter our realm with such a weak collection of fairies? It's incredible. Return. Oh, come on. Return to the miserable world of weak elves and dwarves and don't come back until you have more than 30 fairies. Come on. Again with this. Wait, how many do we have? We have... Uh, it, had, it was marked somewhere here earlier, I think. Was that in London? Might be in London, but... Wait, 30 fairies. Oh hmm. no. How many fairies are there in total? Uh, a good amount still. Around 60 or so, I'm guessing. Uh, let's see. Every type has at least or about four. Three at the very least. And there are. Oh, hello. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve types. So it has at least 36 uh, in total. At the very least, some there's a bunch of nature fairies. Yeah, I think you see what I'm hinting. The issue is here. He almost wants you to have tamed almost all of them. No, that 36 is the absolute minimum that there would be if every type only has three, and there are a lot more oh. than three per <laughs> in some. Oh, okay, but well, still, it, it's quite many, and do we even have that that amount? We have a good amount of uh, spheres, and we can always go buy more. Um, yeah, for now, though, let's go back to London. I, I find it really annoying that they're gating it is behind that again. But oh well. yeah, and such a high number. Kind of okay. feel like they want you to be collecting each and every one. Oh, here it is. 
Okay, we have 23, actually. At the moment. That is with me having captured another Arya. Uh, I think we already had a Tinnafall. The Jum Jum we already had. Sagbars, Lana. Um, also, there's the fire card. We still can get the fire cards from that... Uh, that from that brawl in the forest. So we might go and do that as well. well for now, though... I almost forgot that we probably should do that. But that might can get actually in... make it easier. And then we can get into the fire cave and find out what the hell is in there. Um, Perhaps more fire spells? Maybe. For the moment, though, do we have multiple Tinnafalls or just one? We have... There. Okay, we only have one. Um, let's put it in our party for the moment. And then we should still have an elementary, an evolution stone for it. Uh, yeah, Ma evolutionary magic of nature. Now we have our own Tinnerog. Which, let's see. Did that up the number? No, they've kept it the same because it's, well... <laughs> the game is dumb like that. Okay. Um, let's take you out so we can use air eddies at the very least. And so I'm like, I think I want you to own. Yeah. Further here is not. Not seen. That, that is what it's meant. That, that it, we it only counts in the deck as well if we have them. So that is that's the same thing. So. Yeah. If we go to the if we go to the cottage, we should be able to find air fairy no not air fairies, nature fairies, water fairies, and maybe some chaos fairies inside. So Yeah, yeah this, this is, is going something to do. Oh, sorry, go on. Go, you, you go ahead first. I said uh what's the we see something we could uh, consider catching off the roll. Yeah, uh, the, the, you the saw worm was fairies. Great. Yes. Hmm? The worm fairies as well. And we can call forth some water fairies over here. Water Just have to be careful. Fairy? Yeah, war god, core god, and uh, the last version. No, oh. no. There is. Yeah, I was thinking of the one that had the, you know, surprisingly large chest. And what the heck was that? This is Aquaman, the fairy. <laughs> This is the fish's evolution, and I don't know if it has uh, a third in its line. It, well, it's what it's that tanky. Oh, it, I see why it's tanky. It has a, def a defensive spell. Okay, come here, you. It's faster than us, but it's not smarter than us because... His brain? Yep. Okay. That makes 24. Six to go. And I hope that this... Oh, hello. How did we miss you? I hope this doesn't turn into just becoming a capture stream. I think that's what it might become. Hmm. About it, I would not be surprised. How, how did I miss that? No use for you. So we just end them and get the coins. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if I'd known that they'd be gating us like that, I probably would have been capturing every type along the way. Like I typically, you know, or like I typically try to at least with Pokemon. There's a spawn point here that the fairy horn was not the fairy horn that the conch was responding to. It, the spawner, this, the fairy horn and conch are can be really annoying with that they. Yeah, there it is. It re, they require specific spots, and even then you have to be facing the right way as well. I'm just going to mash them. There we go. Mm. 
fast, but we never captured one of you, I think. But there's a pixie there! Yeah, we must have <laughs> missed that one. You're, you're ineffective, what? I think the pixie's stuck! Yeah, it, 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 it wasn't stuck, it just couldn't... The world around stops moving. Yes. Uh, oh, damn it. <laughs> when you uh, use a summoning item. It was just stuck you in its lost. walk cycle. Just a little bit too strong on that, huh? Yeah, I, I totally noticed it. And there it is. The <laughs> close-up of Amy's dead eyes. <laughs> yeah, we already have one of you, so you're just cannon fodder. Hmm. I don't think Goop has a evolution. Um, so at the very best with the the Water Fairies, we could find uh, Oceana's pre-evolutions, like the Dana. I think we see the evolution of these ones. Yes, they get wings. Hmm. Along the tail, but that's it. Uh, we'd have to see. Uh, I remember seeing it in a fight. I'm not sure if we... I'm not sure if we did. But, um, it was one of those fights where the, every time we fought them, they had a different uh, uh, set. Maybe. For now, let's just grab this little shit. Punch! Wait, wait. Vulcan Punch! Vulcan Punch, I meant, not Vulcan Punch. That's a completely different type of combat. <laughs> I think you combined Star Trek and Captain Falcon or whatever his name is. Yep, you did. Okay, let's try someone <laughs> who is less likely to slap this thing into the next universe. Oh, and he's also very ineffective against it. Okay, at the very least this means that we can not well, chip away at its health, it being a stone and all. Hmm. Okay, after fast bat, we'll only need to capture five more. Uh, we should be able to get a core god, or however the second evolution of the worm was called. I wonder, does fast mean anything? Someone walking in. Uh, what was the question? Uh, I'll ask you, does fast mean anything? As in, uh, V like victory, uh, Vass? Uh, F A C. Uh, don't think so. Or, oh. but does Freddy fast bear? And I'll have fast bat. If, oh, if, there she is! It's fast, fast bad, not fast. Oh. <laughs> My bad. And also, let's capture that one. There we go. Yeah, the most classical fairy of the bunch. Loaf wise, but maybe not. <clears throat> Figure wise. Okay. Uh, that should be five to go. Uh, no, actually, I think I, I think I have a possible good nickname for that fairy. Hmm? Mother Fairy. Or a fine middle fairy. Happy now? <laughs> I was thinking something like Bloom or something. Sure you were. Sure. Okay. Um... Goop, we yeah, let's just end it. We're it's probably just as fast as escaping at this point. <laughs> um, let's see. We could probably find another Tinnifal at that well, at that well, uh, at Tyrolin, one where we originally captured ours. 
Uh, we could go capture some Chaos Fairies, some Dark Fairies. Uh, actually, Metal Fairies as well, because we have the tools of Dwarves. So if we just capture two Minaria, or Minera, we can make evolve one into Megari. Yeah. And then we have just two more there. So, yeah, let's check underneath the cottage, see if for any Chaos Fairies to capture. I think we already have one of them, but no evolutions. Well, we have one, we have at least... Was that the noise of one ru and Pixie running around? Or was I just hearing something there? I think I heard a Pixie. Odd. Yeah. We have at least one of the row family here and we have uh, where is we have Skelbo uh, where is that where's the there's the bug one we have Sagbuzz as well so that's a decent collection of chaos fairies so let's hope we can find a new one here otherwise we can go hunt for dark fairies in the catacombs I can wonder in what mindset Will everyone build their house on top of this? Especially if we look uh, down. Yeah, they probably did it to seal off the entrance. Yes. Hmm. Okay, we're we're an hour in now, and well, we have made some slight progress. <laughs> Yep. And, uh, come on. Ooh. It is just close. a mana potion, but still. Uh, might as well talk about some other stuff. I'm thinking of doing a small... Uh, uh, not really a... It wouldn't count as a rebrand, but I'm thinking of just changing the channel's name to from Hillian to Captain Hillian. Because, well, that's what we're rolling with. <laughs> Is, is it because I kept calling you Captain? Uh, that and in part. I've noticed that a lot of VTubers, uh, or at least the ones that I'm familiar with, have a, a two-part name. Like Azra Arcane. Uh, <clears throat> but that's usually the first name and the last name. Perhaps it. But some we'll do have, have to see some do high titles. Yeah, we can we can try that for a while if it if it, <laughs> if it's not if, if neither of us enjoys it, we can just always change it back. Okay, Rasro, you are kind of useless to us. Yeah, let's see. There is another Captain VTuber. I would mm -hmm. not be surprised if you heard of her. Let's see, Captain Ma Marina Hoso. Nope. <laughs> Like, oh, I'm you're out. missing out. She's known to be... Ahem. Yeah. Very lewd. Though also mocked for... Is it... She'd be sometimes teased by her co-workers to, to be an old woman in, in young body. With her, that she has a bit more mature voice compared to her uh, body and such, but still, people like her, but she is very forward. Okay, I'm, I'm actually pretty out of touch with the VTuber scene. I mostly know it through other people who, uh, other, who also stream as VTubers. I seem some uh, VODs, but not many considering how long many of them are. I have definitely seen some clips. And Marina is... she's funny. Okay. And it, and, and it looks like we're just getting no luck at all with these fairies here. <clears throat> so, Catacombs next it is, then. Next. Let's screw this and just get the hell out of here. Uh, oh, I just remember... Uh, some other reason I saw a VTuber has him clip of... I, I find funny. She have her she have a husband. We sometimes terrorize her by shooting a nerf gun at her during her streams. 
The one time she recently she was ready. Oh. And uh, um she threw a adult toy at him. <laughs> yeah, he was not ready for that. But he retreated. He he was not ready for fun sized Freddy. Uh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Hey, what the heck came did that come <laughs> Now I got you off guard. <laughs> what the heck? I, I, I heard that. I actually heard that joke before. I just did not expect you to. Wait, I think that Morgan player was the one coined that term. Who's Kevin Sauce? Uh, could have been Markiplier. Yeah, no, at the same time, I would not be surprised if it was Captain Sauce for... You know how Captain Sauce is. Yeah. Yo, a come on. They haven't put out so many videos as often anymore. No. Yeah. Some part is I learned from how this video has been due to uh, heat waves. It's Yes, I can get that it's probably gets hard to get videos done if you're being cooked alive. Yeah. Metaphorically. <laughs> Which is also why we had uh, not streamed that sometimes. Yeah, don't know this, but... Yeah, we haven't had too much heat rate problems for streaming. Mm. Though I guess uh, sometimes when you got home, you were tired, you were also were overheated after yeah. work. I still have a bloody fan pointed at me, like, every night now, and every day when I'm at the computer. Because even if it's not a heat wave anymore, it's, the temperature is just up so much that it's it's uncomfortable not uh, with, uh, with, yeah, without a fan. Yeah, it's 21 at the moment. Not too bad, but still... Uh, but those two, the air not blowing around. I have now two fans going on in my room. I have not activated the water in my air cooler. Really gonna ignore it now with just getting chaos flies. So really nothing chaos else here. Flies. Oh god. Oh mm -hmm. no, that mental image just gave me. Uh you know how much chaos can corrupt in Warhammer 40k in fantasy? Yeah. Yeah, the idea of corrupt flies is not fun. There You're we gonna go. need a very big fly swat for those. And they already have rock flies, but... Wait, okay, rock flies are more demonic bugs than corrupted uh, bugs. Luckily the exit is nearby, because I'm really getting freaking tired of these Agritars. Reef. Like, there we go. Turnox. Okay, this we need a silver sphere, not a silver, a crystal sphere for this one. No, nope, and it's one of the more complicated ma <laughs> maps. Where the there you are, the bastard. And it's using one of the slow spells. Yeah, the slow spell. No, no, I think this one completely stops us from charging a spell. Okay. Yeah, it completely undoes the charge. That is quite something. I don't know if it's a good thing or better. Like, also for you using it, but I'm painful annoying when enemy use it. Yeah. Okay, get on the ball. And, and you made it this way, us... Okay. We only need to find one more on different fairy and then we can just get the metal fairies. <clears throat> oh, hello. hello. <laughs> that third fairy. <laughs> that new fairy that we need. Are you sure that's... Does she have lipstick? 
Yeah, it could uh, just be the that their lips. Yeah, I, I. It could just be that Amy's lips are over exaggerated, but it does look like she ha is wearing lipstick. Okay. Now we go visit the dwarves again, and we're going to be digging through the factory for the last two. Are we having the same problem here, like in the odd elf town, where the port is too close to a wall? Yep. <laughs> again, if they ever remaster this game, definitely polish. Yep. And there is still that, uh, that fan project ongoing. We'll have to see how that goes. Okay, Minari. Uh, let me double check. Metal is vulnerable to ice, apparently. Okay. That makes sense. And air, water, and energy. Those mostly make what? sense, actually. Yeah, the machines do... Cold is kind of good for machines and all that, but... Metal may have bad reaction to too much cold. Yeah, it freeze snap. Okay, capture this one. Mm, we don't have it in inventory, of course, so we'll have to go back to London again to upgrade it. I do like that they, they, they say hey like every other fairy, but it sounds really roboticized. <laughs> Oh, there it is. She is. Uh, out of mana? Okay. Do wanna, does each, each spell have a limit amount of mana? Yeah. It seems that some have infinite? No, nope. oh, it's, it's, it's just that uh, it gets recharged a bit when a fairy levels up. Let's just capture it up before Venervia finally <laughs> completely vanishes out of existence. Okay, uh, London. Yep. Okay, Amy is very excited to go home. I was gonna say you just you, you I think you stood on something that makes her shake. Okay, let's wait for the animation to finish before we can move our camera. There we go. Alright, where is one of them? There you are. Let's put you in here for the moment. And... There we go. Now we have McGarry as well. And now we should have... Yep, 30 fairies total. Or 30 different fairies at least. And we might as well check the book for any... On one of... Yeah, any of the new ones. Let's see. Fast, but I think we didn't have them before. But yeah, well, I know we didn't have them before because we captured them this very stream. Very high yes. jump ability for a basic uh, fairy. Well, have you seen the legs? <laughs> Stones and rock build the entrances to the world of Sanzara. Gritting its teeth and using its excellent sense of, sense of smell, the fast bat approaches its opponents. It requires training in both stamina and strength. And we have Aquaman here. Oh, I thought we captured one of the pre of it, but apparently not. Uh, Ceram uh, Ceramnus. His home is in the water, but he can uh, can and does leave it regularly. This creature's greatest wish is to be trained in all fields. Air, fire, and uh, air. Oh, there was fire and air. I got it the wrong way around. And it doesn't have a it doesn't have a, an evolution after because there's no slot for another one. Lumella. This delicate creature is extremely agile and nature loving. It will punish anyone who causes even the slightest damage to her beloved home. The forest of Zanzara with small attacks. Very high dexterity. Uh, what is? I think dexterity is the speed with which they move around. And we have Tinnerog. If a tinnerful is molded with the elemental stone of nature, a tinnerog is created. Mountain of frog is being is absolutely fit for the water, but it keeps all its abilities as a nature fairy. I, did we have this one before? Nope. This is one's new thing. It is we not read about it. Yeah. A shudder runs through every fairy when attacked by these insect-like bipeds. Their red bodies and ash soaks limbs are reminders of their origins in the fire. Okay. 
Let's see, I, I think we've read these out before, but let's do anyways. Another visual being created by dwarves. Like other metal fairies, this mechanical masterpiece with its dead blue eyes is out of this world. Yeah, we read that. The metal garment of this robot makes it an in in in, in, in that what is, is that word? Inimitable battle machine. It may appear to be very rough construction at first glance, but its technical finesse and double metal wings will soon prove the opposite. I think we read that as well. Yep. Yeah. Then we have the dark wing. Then we have the dark fairies. Manox, these beings of darkness are the epitome of evil. They are hard to catch and hardly get on with any other species. These are and these very strong beings can only be held back with crystal spheres. Actually we caught this one in a in a gold one. Were you about to say dark wing duck by accident? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Turnox. His red eyes with their penetrating look spell evil. He plays with the fears of other fairies, which, mo which mostly leads to excruciating confrontations, after which he enjoys bathing in his success. Very strong at those, uh, with those. And it's, there's even another version of it. I think we have seen one in combat. And just to point out, we have, there are 77 total, because Lana is level, si is not level, is number 76. And there's another one after, so 77 total. So Lana can uh, level up again. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see. She. Oh yeah, she does evolve. I I thought Lana didn't evolve. Okay. Hmm. What what level is our Lana actually? Level level two. So that would be. That well. Hmm. Wait, was it another one we named after a friend? Request. Yeah, noon named this one. Why uh, did we leave her in the dust? Because we already have, yeah, we already had Cilia, who was already stronger at that point. But I'm thinking we could do, or I could do an extra stream or a video, perhaps, uh, showing off every fairy, or at least every fairy that we can get. Because I think there is one light fairy, the one that we traded in, that we can't get. I think. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm, after we're done with this game's story, I might just go and grind and capture as many of the other fairies. Just to show. Oh dear. And up, I might just use cheats for that. <laughs> to just speed things along a hell of a lot more. Uh, but uh, as kids, we use cheats a lot in games. True. Most because some games, when you were to do the campaign, it was sort to figure out who in the right way thought this was fair fight. Like sometimes, yeah, as you grow, you realize, oh, you just do this and this. But even as adult, in some games, you go, yeah, use your sheet. And I forgot to swap the metal fairy back. And. Uh on that, actually, uh, I did. Uh, I did at one point try to cheat in this game with the uh, the trade you know, for the light fairy for Sagboss, and it actually didn't accept. I I, I used a cheat to put a um, to put a Suan or Suane, wherever you're supposed to say it. I put one of. Uh, I used a cheat to get one of those, but when I tried to trade it, it they wouldn't accept it because it was a fake. So that was a nice little thing that they put in to avoid uh, people from cheating the game some in some degrees. But yeah. I think that might be more because we didn't the game didn't have a a tag already on us having beaten the shadow elf that was holding the swan that we got hostage in the realm of clouds. Yeah. This we could uh, this is probably a way to avoid a severe sequence breaking. Yeah. Goose is angry with us from the sounds of it. He wants to tear your, your limbs off one by one. Hmm. I haven't heard much about uh, Untitled Goose Game and its developer. Oh, uh, I, I think it might have just been a one-hit wonder of, with games. 
But it would be pretty funny if they could... Uh, it would be pretty interesting what other uh, type of games they might be making eventually. Yeah. Time to tell. I found it a bit funny, but I would not play it myself. But I enjoyed the uh, YouTubers play it. Yeah, I've Sense seen it mostly well. in that way as well. Yeah, for that, that, that's where we get the gameplay and the commentary works well. And just the reactions to all the bullshit you pull. Yeah. <laughs> Though there seems to be some developers that when they notice they got popular on YouTube, it may have gotten worse because then they, like, from here there's a chance that the, the one that made the, let's see, what's, what's it called? Hello Oops. Neighbor! Hmm? That, uh, that they changed the entire course of development simply because they got popular on YouTube. And they wanted to be at as many mysteries as possible just because they got popular. And yeah, uh, in I... that way, I ended up harming them. And apparently, there's some screenshot of them really trying to encourage YouTubers to play the game to find more. Yeah. Especially bad MatPat, even. And in the end, the result of it just fell flat on its face. Yeah, like. <clears throat> I, I, I've heard. Uh, either either they just didn't have a story at all and were just kind of faking their way through it from the very start, or they did have a story set, but uh, that, the, that, that the fans guessed it in their theories, and then they changed it to still have it be a quote-unquote surprise, even if it didn't make any lick of sense. Yeah, or they outright just changed it just to try to get more popular in some weird way, and they, they like they abandoned the original idea just to try to get more popular on YouTube in a quick way instead of a, of a sturdy foundation. Yeah, in the long way, they were chasing uh, what's the word? What's the word? They were they were chasing the hype and not actually building anything under it. Yeah, like they have many interesting ideas, but because they chase the hype, many of the ideas that could have been good were, yeah, not good. They, yeah, they lost the flair. Yeah, either abandoned or completely broken. So, for any developers that might eventually see this some or somehow, if the fans have guessed uh, your story, Leave it to hell be. That just means that you made it and that you wrote it well because you <clears throat> you left enough hints for it to actually be stitched together. Don't don't tear up this tapestry just because people put them together managed to put it together. Yeah. For now though, you're still weak and uh, you're still wretched and weak. This time you're going to feel it too. Okay. What do you have? You have a Skelrath. You have a Libu, which well, was very the obviously the evolution of Darbu, Glazes, Syro, and Jumbrock, which we're finally have <laughs> prepared for. Okay, the only issue here, let's see, energy. Do we have anything against energy? Yes, we do. We have ice against energy. Any energy is only vulnerable to two types, stone, which makes sense, and ice. I, and I just realized why Glacius is named Glacius. Glacius, Glacius, but something like that, yeah. Uh, glacier. And, and Mistress. Uh, hello. What the? Oh, uh, hey, hey, tree. <laughs> you disconnected uh, from Discord. Yeah, you heard that as well. Yep. But why did yeah, no one try to join our chat here? Or... So well, why did he hear this cool sound when Lintry said hi here? Yeah, I, I think you just I, I think you just got disconnected for a second or something. And hey again, Lil Tree, <laughs> doing well but over I, there. I did not get disconnected. Nope. But that was not that sound. But it was too mild of a sound on my end. For what was it being very loud on my end? 
Okay. Discord being Discord again, I'll just guess. Probably it. But yeah, hello, Lidri. Hope all is well with you. And welcome to Zanzara, which is basically Pokemon, but in 3D, like everyone actually ever wa <laughs> wanted. Oh, they swapped to uh, Jump Rock. It, I'm doing well. Just had a headache today due to a cool morning and a warm midday. And my brain does not react to sudden tablet ships like that. But mm. otherwise, I've been good. Same here. The reason we're streaming early is because, well, uh, I had an early shift with work and I have another one tomorrow. So I can't stream in the nights like I would be normally be used to. But... Oh, wrong fairy. So this is chaos, and chaos is strong against water type, but not, not against nature. It's energy. We fight that with ice, and okay, that's still. Where the hell are you? There you are. You still do a hell of a lot of damage, though. But it is an energy, so it would make sense, I guess. Okay. Just gotta keep an eye out for when they're swapping like that and hit them before they completely banish. Oh, and that 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 was Bonaria getting taken out in one shot there. What the heck? Yes, she was already hurt, but still that was 100 damage. Yeah, we might have type advances, but they still are a much higher level than we are. Most of the time. Alright, no worries, Literally. Still happy for you to visit anyway. Might check uh, in after. But until then, have a nice day and a nice stream then. Yeah. But I don't think she's leaving yet. <laughs> yeah, just in case for when she does. Uh, yeah, this is going to get close. I think we're both... Uh, no, you don't. There we go. Now it's uh, three to two, even though Oceana is out of mana. Oh, wait. Fire is good against Chaos as well. Is it just me, or do, do the Chaos spells sound like you're launching fireworks? Kinda. Oh, like a screaming firework. There we go. Just need to heal up after this. And hopefully we can find a bloody room. <laughs> Manfred being very happy. I don't believe it. You defeated me. A stupid, ugly human beat me. How did you do it? Well, I beat you. I just kicked your ass. <laughs> That's how. And he got so angry, he exploded. <laughs> yeah, he just teleported out. Um, can we... Uh... Okay, at the very least, we have flag wins still, because if... If we didn't have any fairies that were effective against this thing, we probably would have... We probably uh, would have been set back before the fight. So immediately after we're out of here, I'm putting down a save. Oh, message Lutri, and thank you for visiting. See you later sometime. Save. Mean potion and some coins. Okay. We still have plenty of medicine. So, one, two, and, well, we have more than enough of these, so we can just throw these at everyone. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hello. I think we're going... Yeah, we're going to need some keys to get through here. Yeah, that's opened over there. 
uh, okay, for a moment, said you had ended stre uh, the, the, the stream was gone, then it suddenly came back, came back on my end on Discord. But at least I didn't need to re-stream it, they just instantly came back. So there okay. is something going on with Discord. As usual. Okay, yeah. a red bone key. A strange key, very likely a key to a strange castle. I wouldn't call this a castle. Is there anything hidden uh, around here? Nope. Maybe the remains of a castle? Might have jumped a... I hate jumping puzzles over massive pits like that, like... Why? Is that a trend? Why? Yeah, because there has to be some hazard to it. Yeah, I think there's a some better hazard than that. Yeah, we're not going to use the conch to summon any more fairies. Or the, yeah, the horn. You saved, right? Yep, and it's also saved on the transition there. Nope, oh, Rasro. And Rastro an actual name? Mm, not sure. Please you heard Rastro many times in the uh, yeah, in movies and series. I can't say I have, but maybe in Swedish there, it is a name that's used or something. No, no. It's, I've been hearing many English speaking ones. Never in Swedish, actually, I heard the name. Only in English. And it's through the back in the abyss. <gasps> yep. <laughs> For a moment, okay. you would, I thought you were to join the abyss there. But maybe that that's why they threw the coins and bags into the abyss at times. <laughs> to lure. Yeah, they hope you, you to follow it. Amy isn't that dumb. She might be as interesting as uh, a, pa a pot of uncooked spaghetti, but she's not stupid. Hey, I, I find uncooked spaghetti nice, as I know I can cook it. Tita just. Yep. Also, there's the room. Coin. Like, there, there was a rock for them to land on. But the coin stack split in two and missed it. There we go. Now we can just fast travel back here. And well, they were they were described as pure evil, so of course it's going to be spiteful. Oh. Come on, press the bloody button. Oh well, it puts us back here, and it took the rune from us. Okay, and we know how to uh, trick that, did... oh, and this time it's this little bastard. Okay. It's probably going to be just a single shot. A lot of mutated Skeksis. Actually, have you seen the Dog Crystal series? Uh, I know of it. I know of... Uh, there's two movies in it, I think. There's only one movie, but there was planned for two movies, but they had to shorten it down to one. But okay. there's a series. We said it got cancelled for some reason, even due to people loving it. I think it was due to Netflix thought to be too expensive to make another series. Okay. Even though, even though the the thing is, many of the puppets were already made. So it's similar to uh, Warner Brothers and Discovery uh, merging at the moment, that they're just killing everything off in order to try and save money. Yeah, though sometimes some companies like they, they they don't understand they have a success, so they. They have one series that everyone loves, but they're going to spend the money to continue something everyone hates. 
Yeah, that's because uh, executives just... Just plainly said executives are idiots. They don't actually know what they're doing. They just think this makes money. So if we throw more money at it, it will make more money for us. When instead it's more li it's just as likely to lose the money because they don't know when they have something of actual quality. Yeah, the, no, not always that though. Don't mean that it does know a good quality. But sometimes, yeah, just goes flop. And I like I... Netflix, but they are rather... Sometimes they know when there's a good, something good and go full out on it. But sometimes, yeah. They fail. Like, I. Let's see. I see they continue many seasons of something called Big Mouth. It seems to be a show, cartoon show mostly about puberty. Okay. With monsters as their invisible puberty monsters. <laughs> You, you hear yourself, like, sure, it might sound weirdly funny, but also at the same time cringy. And from what I've been hearing, it is cringy. And somehow they had made four, five seasons of it. Uh, like with uh, <clears throat> Teen Titans Go. Oh, the people absolutely hate that, so, but they just keep making more of it. I. I from what I've heard, it has been improving. Uh, most of it getting self-aware and poking fun of itself. Uh, but still, they're just they're killing off uh, a lot of other shows just to try and keep that running, and it's just pushing people away. Yeah. So I feel like Netflix made a mistake in consoling uh, the Doc Crystal series for it was all out impressive. But they, the Henderson company, which are the ones behind it, has said they are willing to do a second season if someone else is willing to support them. So they're still open, open for it. Okay, there's also, well, <laughs> more recently, or most recently, the Resident Evil series that they made, which app people, well, which everyone absolutely hates. <laughs> The animated series or the live action one? The live action. It again just shows that a lot of the time executives just don't know when they have something worth it in their hands. And it also just. They just don't know what the fuck they're working with half the time. Amy, you almost teleported off the path. Yeah. Like, how's someone, a friend of mine, liking the live action uh, Cabo Bebop? But he confessed he has not seen the anime one yet. From what I heard, the anime is superior in every way. Yeah, so I can guess he likes the live action one. Only Onti has seen the anime one, where you can see yeah, what is going to on. Yeah, something to compare. It's like something to compare it against. Yeah, there also, there are, there are about odd oddities, like the Mist series, like the Mist movie was awesome. So the, the Miss series are coming, people were expecting to be a, con a sort of same continuation as the movie. Or at least following something more similar, but... The, the Miss series was good. It, it did not feel like the Miss at all. Like, they just took the neighbors some similarities and just went extremely its own way. Like, it was scary and all, but extremely way too different like in the movie your monsters come from the mist in my series the mist will turn into your nightmares okay the, yeah you hear yourself that that's quite a leap and it's basically the movie just put in in a series form in similar manner just they change the monster that they made the mist into the monster instead of having monsters coming from the mist. Yeah, being instead it, of being a, a side effect of it. Yeah, and that like still again, it's it was good, it was interesting, but it should not have the mist name. Mm. 
and that's what I think many reviews who also said like it shouldn't have the missed name. Like if it had a, it's another name, and but a bit more not connected to the missed movie and the, or the missed book to begin with, then it would be more better perceived. But due to the, the slap on the missed title and some minor reference to it, it yeah, yeah it then did you're not just insulting well. the fans of what you were actually you know, using the name of. Yeah, like they could have missed inspired bit more but yeah they didn't do that i completely missed this little shit <laughs> i'm not surprised uh in a more pos yeah basically if you're trying to make something you know, if you're you know trying to make something uh different but use the names of stuff uh yeah it it's in most cases, it's just better to make, you know, you know, to just make something completely new instead of just hijacking something. Uh, though this can also be done in a good way of sort because uh, we, yesterday we watched Big Hero Six together, and that is uh, basically the, the version uh, in the movies and such that is, is basically completely and utterly different than the original uh, Big Hero Six, but. Yeah, that movie was just made out. It was just quality on top of it. it. It was good first, and using the name and such uh, second. Uh, they, they did make some references to, to it, apparently. Uh, but yeah, that's yeah, the, that, that's that the, was that's the first own. point. It has to be fucking good first. Yeah. And also we have a restoration where they actually... Uh, I'm gonna use Castlevania series as a good example. For that is one of the rare video game adaptations. Yeah. And actually up to Nintendo 64 <laughs> Castlevania game in part. It also it goes its own way with it, but it uses characters and such from that game. In a rather good good well balanced way like did we leave too many loose ends or rush too many things even? Yeah. I, I had some minor criticism, which I'm not going to say here, for I don't want to spoil. But in the big scale of things, Castlevania series was just outright good. And they are. Instead of making a new season, they're making a spin-off. From what I've seen, what the spin offs are planned for, I think it's probably better for the spin-off. Yeah, one for way to Genji possibly put it, uh, I, uh, you can finish if you want. Uh, I want to say is they're going to continue with the spin-offs, and probably other spin-offs, with the older lines of the Belmonts. Yeah. Uh, what I'd say about the difference between Big Hero 6, the movie and series from that, and uh, yeah, like the Netflix stuff, uh, once way I would compare it is that Big Hero 6 is like a good fan fiction. The other stuff is bad fan fiction. Yeah, like a good fan fiction is when you actually respect the original and try to be respectful for it. And yeah. we have the bad ones with a how to describe bad fan fictions? Like you still have some respect as your fan. Yeah, I so think it's just in the name. Bad fix fan fiction is bad fan fiction. Everyone knows bad fan fiction. Yeah, then we have the ones. That, you know, I think you even can't say fan fiction to those. Yes, they're just using the name. Like they try to just get views from the IP itself without caring what it's about. Like apparently. A whole drama about the Lord of the Rings series that uh, Amazon is doing, and it feels more like they're just trying to use the uh, the IP to get money, and I don't give too much about uh, the actual lore and world building. Yeah, that's also with the Resident Evil movies. But basically, all those that those movies were was a an excuse for the director to put his wa fucking wife in the pr in the main role of a bunch of movies. That's basically it. They, all of the yeah. Resident Evil stuff, they was basically just tacked on, save for the first one, actually. That, that one was okay, but very different from the games, but it was entertaining. 
But then late, the more and more they went in. Like yeah, the signal the was also okay, but the more and more moves they went, the more and more. The more and away. more it became the. Uh, it, it turned from Resident Evil to the adventures of Mary Sue uh, in Resident Evil like world. Yeah, I think they even just went further away from it. I think they made a live action series of it on Netflix and live action. Yeah, some and that one got bashed to Helen back. Yeah, I just not heard, heard about, I haven't heard if they animate the series went good. Oh, missed that one. Yeah, with uh, with adaptations of uh, games and just fans. You know, Basically, with adaptations, it, it isn't bad to put your own spin on it, but at least put in some damn respect for the original work as well, and some yeah, knowing, knowledge of the original work as well. A good example is probably be, be Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. For they put, the, they are very different from the books, but they have their own spin and respect towards it. And Jurassic World, I have learned that they took. Many more materials from the books that they uh, abandoned early on to be reused. They thought, well, why not reuse these materials and put in the later movies? Okay. And they did. And uh, it, that's in a way respectful, I say. Even though it's definitely out of order, it's still a very much different. Book. Yes, it is. If they were to from point, just pulling books fully, there be more movies, but. It would be all rating. And trust me, say these people. Nedry Steph is way more brutal in the books than in the movie. I believe he gets torn apart by compies. <laughs> no, no. That was Hammond. Nedry got killed by an adult Dilophosaurus. Ah. Uh, I, I can describe it a little bit. Like, he got blinded, yes. He's only feel pain. He feels something warm in his hands. He realize in his blinder that he's holding his own gut. Yeah. Then suddenly he feels something clamming onto his head and lifting him. Uh, uh, clamming onto his head, breathing all over his head and lifting him up by the head. And yeah, shortly after his life ends there. It didn't end. But yeah, he was killed by a adult one. And I think I think people are probably a bit pissed off the Dominion. Still for apparently they still not shown the adults. They still only shown the kid the of in Jurassic Park series. Okay. Oh yeah, maybe Camp Cretaceous maybe Camp Cretaceous will. They didn't. Uh, okay. All right, now it's spoiler for you. There, sorry. No, only but minor. Yeah, it, but even all, even some other games like Ark has done the mistake. They, this one game that did not, like they didn't respect the spark like, but they made them correct size, and that's like six meters long. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, they're big. They're more slender than massive. But they are more lean and quick, but six meters long is still big. So yeah, you imagine yourself a, a six meter long beast grabbing you by the hand and lifting you up. They're really and taking a liking to these bloody jump rocks. Yep. That's the same lineup actually. Only differently ordered. I, uh, I guess they don't like variety. But yeah, I can say this. I think many people will find it more scary with an adult Dilophosaurus in Resident Evil that a, like, you have a 60 meter long poison spitting bastard. But that for me would be terrifying. Yo. Two more hits on you. These guys are freaking tanky. Um, then again, they are. Are you. They are what? Uh, these are these guys. The Fantasy are tanky. 
But it makes sense since they're at the end of their evolution line. Yep, and also... Are you seeing what they're wearing? Yeah, golden armor. Yeah, but... Yes. They're wearing armor, yes. The golden armor is probably a bad idea. Unless it's just gilded armor. Could also be bronze, polished or something. Well, some have good... I think there is a, something like a golden bronze. Another of these... Those okay, slow spell charge sp uh, ones are really freaking annoying. Yeah, I can imagine. And I, and I, I think I've already said this in the previous stream of this, but uh, in multiplayer that would probably be like the meta. That you completely deny your enemy the chance to attack. Or at least to, to charge their attacks. Yeah, I, I usually dislike those for... In some games where you have those abilities, it's like... When you're trying it, it never works. Like, it always misses or something. But when they turn it on you, they always hit. Yeah. That's a, that's a trope called... Uh, the computer is a cheating bastard or something like that. Yeah. It's like... Really? Like, what's the point of me using the skill if only the computer can hit with it? This well, not levels. only, but... Yeah. Uh... But yeah, but yeah, about Netflix. Netflix has many good shows, but also many bad shows. And, well, they're destroying whatever good word they have left by squeezing their subscribers. Uh, they, they're not too expensive to begin with. I haven't had much issues with them. Then again, I usually try to focus on watching the good stuff. At least they didn't try to pull anything like... You know, the series you and me want to forget. Yeah, Jan Lock. Yeah, that's. Uh, for now, though, we should probably call it because we've hit the two hour mark. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's let's have a last look for. I'm not going to approach that any further. There's another sphere there. There was a silver sphere a bit back. And the, the last of those bone keys must be hidden somewhere around here then. But for now, we save, we exit program, then we move over to this screen. There we go. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, this went well for an early stream. Uh, a oh, few yeah. interruptions, annoyingly, but uh, yeah, that's that's going to be uh, frequent. And now that someone's looking to... Uh, to disrupt me again so let's uh, end this quickly uh, without a raid because they just because yeah they're, they're really trying to hurry me up from the sounds of it uh, yeah that's been San Zara. I think next time we might be able to finish the game off if we don't have to grind Ooh. again um, nice. also we've made a decision on what to do on our third days of streaming now that we're done with Bunky Island, we were originally planning to go back to doing the showcase Sundays, or as we were going to, I think we sort of agreed on the name of something someday or something like that. <laughs> Instead, we because we'd that have to... we should just keep it to something Sunday and keep it to Sunday if we can do it on Sunday, Sunday at some times. Okay, we can do that. Uh, yeah, which would have left the third streams in the week, uh, other than possible something Sundays. Uh, since we're done with Monkey Island, we're keeping it, we're still going to keep it a bit piratey, but this time we're going to move on to the Shantae franchise. Finally! Uh, minus the original, though, because that was a Game Boy original, and for one, I don't know if I have, yeah, I don't know of any emulators that can work that, and for two, uh, yeah, it <laughs> Game Boy games aren't the most interesting to be watching at. So, 
if we can fit in another stream yeah, actually what it is yes it's tuesday if we can hold on yeah we should be able to stream tomorrow uh late actually because after that i have a day off so we can go back to our usual 8 p.m stream unless we'd want to do this early and Enter, please <laughs> Military, please, you know, digital. Uh, 20. Thank you. Uh, that uh, We could uh, do it at our, the usual time of that, or do it at the time we did now, which would have been uh, 16.15 to 8, or around 16.00. Uh, but we'll see that tomorrow. Um, yeah, we'll be starting with uh, the second Shantae game, Risky's Revenge. Risk, what was Risky Boots? <laughs> That's the name of the character. <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought it was saying it was Risky Boots Revenge. <laughs> I, I, I haven't really... <laughs> the only Shanti I've seen is from Game Brums I've seen that they talked over it. Okay, we'll see about streaming that tomorrow, uh, which is going, yeah, going to be likely. I'll still have to run some tests, but... Until then, uh, have a nice... Thank you, everyone who has been watching. Thank you, Lil Tree, for visiting. And uh, thank you, as always, Rick here. You're most welcome, as always, my friend. And, yeah, until next time, have a nice day. And until then... Uh, <laughs> I messed up the outro. Uh, until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks. I watch out for seagulls.